So welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I think I want to address uh, a limiting belief that men have who are interested in going to a dating coach, but they're very hesitant to go to them or join a dating community because they feel that maybe their friends and family might judge them because they needed help with their dating lives. Now, I want you to consider, and I'm going to play devil's advocate here, that are these people genuinely being your friends? If you're someone who is actively admitting and trying to take responsibility and action for working on something that you really want to take control of, that if you're not happy with your dating life, if you're unsociable, if you're not confident, if you're shy, maybe, that if you're looking to actively be a better man, then surely your friends and family should be very supportive of that and want you to be the best version of yourself. And if you're someone who's looking for a girlfriend or wanting to work hard to actually achieve getting a girlfriend, then surely these friends should be as supportive as possible as they can. Now, whether they are or not, um, is really down to your discretion of what you want to do about that. But what I do want you to consider though, is that they're only really going to know that you are actively working on your dating life if you tell them. If you are saying to them like, oh, I'm going to a dating coach or oh, I've joined a dating community, then of course they're gonna be aware of it. But the truth is, is that no one is going to know unless you tell them. And even guys who've gone to like dating coaches and, you know, I've filmed their transformations online. Certainly this is a particular issue that has come up for guys where they feel like, oh, my family or friends are going to see this or they're going to find it. I say to them like, well, why would they be searching for dating advice? And I want you to consider that if they are looking for that stuff, then you're very likely going to be an inspiration for them because they were looking for help for their own dating lives and then they've come across their friend who is actively taking action and getting results and proving what's possible. So you're only going to then be uh, an inspiration to your friends rather than potentially uh, being exiled, what the hiccups now, um, being exiled from them instead. And something else though that I want you to consider is that, you know, even if you don't tell people what, you've been doing, that you've been going to a dating coach or, or practicing cold approaching to be better, people will over time notice that your confidence is improving. Um, I know for me, that was something in my very early days because I was very shy when I was like 20, 21. I mean, I was like scared to leave the bedroom. You know, I had an addiction to just sitting and playing on the PlayStation all the time. And when I started putting myself out there and practicing cold approaching, and certainly at the time it was more the, the pickup side of things, um, people, especially family, were like, wow, you've suddenly gone really, uh, really confident or uh, your, uh, your sense of humor has certainly come out a lot more. You seem a lot more charismatic. What, what have you been doing? What's changed to suddenly see you uh, have a spring in your step? So, you know, you will get people notice that you are certainly getting better and better, but that doesn't mean though that you have to tell them what's going on. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's not really their business either. But certainly though, you shouldn't feel embarrassed about working on your confidence and even going to a dating coach for help. I mean, I, I, the way in how I think about going to a dating coach for help is the same as if someone wanted to work on their physique and they go to a gym and go and see a personal trainer. Everyone accepts going to a personal trainer for help with their body. And you see people of all sorts of body types in the gym, people who are thin and skinny, people who are fat, people who have muscle who don't, people who've had injuries and so on. But everyone accepts like, you know what, if you're struggling go and see an expert to help you with that. So that's why I love the fact that there are at least um, the, the dating coaches out there. But ultimately, at the end of the day, people don't really care about the journey that you're going on. What they care about is the end result. And this is the one thing that you should be just focusing your attention on, that if you're going to go to a dating coach, that you need to learn and to 
everything that you need to, to build that confidence to a level that's going to see you have a happy dating life. And when you get there, that is all really people are going to be the most curious about. And then when you've got to that level of confidence that are uh, that's getting you those results, then I can assure you, you'll probably have a very different mindset and be like, yeah, you know what? I went to a dating coach and look at the results that I'm getting now. I am now going on every kind of date with uh, with women that I never deem possible have happened to me. And of course, you're going to just be an inspiration for people. People are going to then also think, oh, maybe I need to probably like go to a coach. I thought my dating life was great, but maybe it could be better. So, I mean, ultimately, what I want you to just really do here is just shift this mindset of like, oh, I'm going to be embarrassed uh, to tell people I've gone to a dating coach or uh, people are going to judge me for it. Don't tell people. Don't worry about sharing that information. Wait until after you've started to get the results that you've wanted and you are in a place that's happy. And that mindset that you've got is going to certainly shift and you're going to just be probably quite open to tell people like, yeah, you know what? I went to a dating coach. I've never been happier. And people will, again, they'll they'll treat you and treat this idea of going to a dating coach very differently. I just understand and I sympathise. It's a very sensitive topic for people. You know, people, uh, well, I mean, we're social creatures. So people are very um, sensitive to the fact that if they admit out loud that they just aren't confident. Um, There's an element of like social suicide there that then suddenly everyone's going to brand them as the unsociable loser who just can't get himself a date. And no one wants that. And, you know, and in like groups of friends as well, you have got this somewhat uh, social ladder that, um, that everyone's a part of. So by that, I mean like someone's the leader, people are the followers and someone's like right at the bottom of the chain. You know, so it's it's not it's no, it's understandable that people would have that hesitation of sharing stuff. But just don't worry about it. Just focus on you, <laughs> which is like the 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 oldest uh, piece of advice that I think any kind of like self-improvement coach could give. But just focus on you. Don't worry about what people think. And at the end of the day, if you don't tell people that you are working on your dating life, that you are learning to be better and more confident, then no one is going to know. It's only if you just start openly telling people that is when people will know and you give people that opportunity to judge you. And even if you go to a dating coach and you make content for their YouTube channel, even then, people that you know aren't going to find you. You're not going to be tagged in those videos. And these um, no one's going to find these videos unless they are actively looking to work on their own dating life. And you're only going to be an inspiration for them. So I, I do kind of hope that at least with this just like subtle shift of understanding with this limiting belief, it does make all the difference in the world for you. If you need help with your dating, it's okay to go to a dating coach. There should be you you shouldn't feel ashamed of anything with that. If you need help with something, you go to an expert to help you with that, to bring your skill level up so it can become uh integrated into your lifestyle and you can just achieve the success within it on autopilot. And you should be doing that with dating as well. If you can do that in fitness, nutrition, jobs and and whatnot, you can certainly do it with dating. I don't see any issue whatsoever. But if you're worried, don't tell people. Keep it to yourself. And then as soon as you start getting that success, and if people ask because they notice, then openly share it. And people will respect you for that as well. And this is something else. I've known people who have had that that fear of going to a dating coach and then eventually they kind of bit the bullet, they did it, they got the results and then suddenly they preached to the choir just how amazing the experience was and the results that they get. And then they've inspired other guys to go and do it as well. So don't be afraid to go to a dating coach for for help. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't feel ashamed about it. Um, If you do feel nervous, just 
keep it private for now and wait until your confidence grows. Because if you haven't experienced that confidence, it's hard really to, to say how you will in future feel. You have to get there first before then you can make that decision of like, right now I feel great. I'm so glad that I made this decision right now. I can tell people or I'll be happy to tell people if I, if they ask. Um, but if you are then constantly meeting new people, um, these new people that you do meet, especially if it's like you make new friends because now you're actively socializing, they won't have any idea anyway. And again, unless you tell them, they will just see this confident version of you whereas you see it as the new confident version of you. So I hope that that does at least kind of make sense. But don't don't worry, don't stress about stuff. Um, if you need help with your dating, definitely go to a coach or go to an expert for it. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video as well. Have you also experienced this limiting belief of uh, being worried to go to a dating coach or join a dating community because you feel embarrassed about the idea of admitting maybe your dating life isn't great. Um, so share something in the comments below. Again, I just kind of love to hear other people's opinion on this and just see where they're at in their dating lives as well. But if you can, please like the video, subscribe to the channel where you can stay up to date on so many more videos and future videos of content that is going to help you with your dating anxiety and certainly help you to build confidence with meeting uh, and I suppose attracting women and also helping you with your social anxiety in the field of dating. And uh, of course, I've been Dan, that dating anxiety guy. And again, I'd love it if you can subscribe, help me to grow my channel and reach even more men and help them with their dating lives too.